Having awards can be a cause for feeling embarrassed and self-conscious, especially as warts appear on the hand or an area of your body that is hard to cover up. The good news is that warts are easy to remove and I'm here to reassure you that it's possible to get rid of them. In this video, I'll answer some of your most asked questions and you'll also learn what warts are, how they form, steps you could take to get rid of them, and how to prevent warts altogether. So stay tuned till the end. Hi guys, you've seen our selling media pharmacist here on YouTube where I help you guys make better and more informed decisions about your health and wellness. So if that's something you're into, be sure to smash that like button below now. It tells YouTube that this video is important and it helps others find this video as well. Also while you're at it, hit that subscribe button too as well as the notification bell right next to it to stay up to date with new weekly health and wellness videos. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Warts usually appear out of nowhere and your first instinct might be to do a Google search to find some quick and easy home remedies. But before we jump into some effective options, let's take a look at what exactly they are and how they are formed. Warts are benign lesions that can develop on the skin or mucous membranes. People can develop warts anywhere on the body, including the fingers, face, scalp, and genitals. The contagious virus, human papillomavirus or HPV, causes warts, and there are various strains of HPV that can lead to different types of warts. A typical wart has a raised rough surface some like those on the face may be smooth and flat, but the center of a wart may be flecked with dark spots. These are known as capillaries that supply the wart with blood. And the occurring skin cells grow faster than normal because they're infected with HPV. And among the 150 strains of HPV, about 10 cause skin warts, including the common, plantar, and the flat warts. And all of us come in contact with HPV repeatedly. This happens when we shake hands or touch a doorknob, for example, but only some of us end up to develop warts and that's hard to explain why some of us do and some of us don't however warts on one part of the body can spread to other areas of the body too so it's important to wash your hands and anything that touches your warts such as nail files or pumice stones which we'll come to in a minute especially if you have someone you share those with which i don't really know why you would want to share a pumice stone with anyone and as far as treatment goes studies indicate that about half of the warts go away on their own within a year and and two thirds within two years, but some experts do recommend treating the warts right away instead of waiting as this reduces the amount of virus shed into nearby tissue and possibly lower the risk of recurrence too. So let's dive right in. But before we do so, let's take a look at some before and after pictures that I want you to look at first. The first product I recommend treating warts with to have successful results like the ones you just saw is salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is a keratolytic agent, meaning it breaks down the cells of the skin. It costs very little, has minimal side effects, and comes in various over-the-counter preparations, including liquids, gels, and patches. I left ones that I recommend below in the description, so definitely check those out. Concentrations range from 17% to 40%, which is a lot higher than the 2% salicylic acid. You're used to seeing for acne but since we're fighting awards we kind of have to step it up a little which I recommend using the stronger concentrations like 40% only for warts on thicker skin like the soles of your feet or fingers making sure you avoid obviously the surrounding skin around your warts. A pro tip here is to cover the surrounding skin around the wart with petroleum jelly to ensure that the spread stays where it should be on the wart. You should apply salicylic acid to the wart every day but before applying do these two steps first. File away the dead warty skin with an emery board or pumice stone, then soak the wart in warm water for 10 to 15 minutes. Then apply the salicylic acid. Do this once or twice a day for 12 weeks. Keep in mind that warts and thick skin like the bottom of your foot may respond best to a patch that stays in place for several days. The second product I recommend is treatment with duct tape. Studies conflict though on whether duct tape really gets rid of warts, but it is a very inexpensive and low risk way to experiment getting rid of warts. It is said to deprive the wart of oxygen or perhaps remove dead skin and viral particles along with the duct tape. Some people apply salicylic acid before covering the wart with duct tape so to do this cover the wart with silver duct tape for a maximum of seven days. 
once the seven days are up, soak it in water and file away the dead skin, leaving it exposed for 12 hours. Then apply the salicylic acid and repeat the cycle until the war is gone. If the tape falls off, you need to quickly replace it and you'll see that under the skin, it'll become wet, pale and wrinkled and warts hate that environment. The third product is an over the counter freeze pen in which you can freeze your wart with a gel or spray. These sprays generally contain liquid butane and are sprayed directly onto the wart to freeze and kill the tissue. Temperatures can reach as low as negative 100 degrees, but the downside of this home treatment is that it may not freeze the wart deep enough to be effective. It can also be painful because the spray needs to be applied longer than if you were being treated in a doctor's office. Some claim they have worked, but again, it depends on the individual and how they respond to this form of treatment. These three methods have worked tremendously for some patients, but I understand that it may not be enough to treat your warts effectively. So please let your doctor know if the warts become too troublesome or have not improved after 12 weeks of salicylic acid treatment as surgical removal photodynamic therapy, or even cryotherapy using liquid nitrogen could be other possible options for you that can work better. And some of you have even asked about using apple cider vinegar or tea tree oil, although they are very harmless alternatives, you could try it as well. More research is needed to prove they are effective in getting rid of warts. So in the meantime, let's look at ways we could prevent getting them and spreading them to other areas. So follow these steps to the best you can as they are crucial in getting warts under control. Do not pick or scratch the warts. Wear flip flops or pool shoes in public showers, locker rooms, and pool areas. Do not touch someone else's wart and keep foot warts dry as moisture tends to allow warts to spread. Another big prevention tip is if you're using an emery board, please make sure to use a disposable one. You don't want to be using the same emery board for filing your wart because that's basically double dipping and no one likes a double dipper. And that's it guys. I hope that this video helps you give you a better understanding on treating warts. Be patient throughout the process and know that it is possible to get rid of them. I also hope that this video was insightful to you guys. The only thing I ask in return is just a simple like down below for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for sticking tuned all the way to the end and I'll see you guys on the next one.